survivors in Nigeria, especially to every Christian girl who has been taken advantage of by the clergy. This is so justice for survival. And this is to send a stern warning to every one of you who think that you can manipulate vulnerable women and girls in the name of the Lord. Justice will, survivors will get justice you will find your place, yourself in a place where you will not be able to escape one day. You can continue to fool everybody, but you will not be able to fool all the people all the time. To every survival of sexual violence in Nigeria, this is justice. We want to say thank you to FIDA Ekiti State, where this case was first of all reported to in 2020. We want to thank the survivors who came out in 2019 when Faye Daniels arrested them with the Nigerian police. We want to say thank you to DSVA. We want to say thank you to the Director of Public Prosecution who, pre who presented, who, um, who gave legal representation to the survivors. We want to say thank you to Lagos State Government for saying no and zero tolerance to any form of gender-based violence. Today is landmark. This is a victory we didn't see coming. We knew we were going to have victory, but we didn't know it was going to be like this. Yes. Yeah. Thank you to the, the Taiwo Ojo. I'm a legal practitioner and um, a woman's rights and children's rights um, advocate. So what's your immediate reaction to this judgment? Well, um, this is um, an erudite judgment. It is another um, win for all survivors. It is um, a judgment that will restore um, faith primarily in the church, not just the church, because um, we have seen men of the cloth, the clergy, you know, commit this crime over and over again. And we see the very institutions which are supposed to expose these crimes, covering it up. But with this judgment, we have seen that even though the judgment may, may be a while, it will, justice will eventually prevail. We have seen that with this judgment, that morality and truth, which is the main fabric of our society, is protected by the judiciary. We have also seen that the pernicious and perversive attitude of men of the cloth to take advantage of their positions of influence over their congregation, this judgment has actually mitigated and you know exposed this. Um, perversive influences. It has also told survivors who have been brutalized, who have been, um, um, you know, have one way or the other um, been victimized and traumatized by men of the clutch, that they have a voice and that when they talk, we will listen and we believe them. Yeah. And that with time, if they are firm, 